you don't want it bad enough. Now, let me tell you something. When I was 165 pounds, I'm 5'4", 5'3". You think I wanted to lose weight? You think I wanted to gain muscle? Absolutely not. And my habits showed it. You used to eat about 3,000, 4,000 calories every single day. I didn't want it. I said I wanted it. I said I wanted a six-pack. I said I wanted muscle. I didn't work out. So I said all these things that I wanted this, I wanted that. When I started my business, I said I want to grow a multi-million dollar business. I didn't work for it. I wasn't reading the books. I wasn't buying the courses. I was spending my money on shoes, designer clothes. Guys, yes, I am wearing this, but I bought this shit a long time ago, like a year or two ago. I don't spend my money on BS like that, okay? And you shouldn't either. If you're trying to run a business, especially if you're on a low budget, let's say you make 50000 a year, and you say, I don't have enough money to start a business. No, it's that you don't want it as bad. If you want it as bad, you will save about 20000 every single year to invest in the business that you want. Let's say you wanted to get a good physique, but you don't invest in protein powder. You don't invest in creatine. You don't invest in a gym membership. Then you don't want it as bad. If you're not willing to do the cardio because you're overweight, okay, let's say you do do the cardio. Let's say you do do it every single day, but you're not on that calorie deficit that, that you need, then you don't really want it as bad. Okay, because I'm telling you something. Yeah, physically, the cardio is harder. Yeah, you might want the cardio bad, but do you want to risk not eating that chicken, not eating that pizza that your mom just brought. Are you willing to suffer that? Do you want it bad enough? Do you want the physique as bad as you want to or just for the summer? If you just want it for the summer, okay, cool. You go back to your bad habits. But do you want it forever? Do you want the forever solution, not just the temporary? That's why a six-minute abs, how to get abs in six minutes, that's why it's so powerful. Because everyone wants a quick, easy way out. No one wants to do the hard work. Me, you think at 6 a.m., I wanted to come out here and run four miles at 6 a.m. You think I wanted to do that? Absolutely not. But look at those fat boys out there. You think they're working as hard as me? And that's almost like an ego boost when you work harder than everybody else. When you want it more than everybody else, it's an ego boost. Okay? And it's not bragging. It's not about being humble. It's about knowing the facts. They're not working as hard as me. You think they're going to get the same results as me? Absolutely not. No way in life. Would you ever get more than somebody who works harder than you? Okay? That doesn't happen. So, again, you must want it as much as you say you do. You might say you want to, I don't know, get this woman. But you're not focusing on everything that it takes to provide and protect a woman. You might say you want to grow a business, a multi-million dollar business. But you're not buying the courses. You're not buying the books. You might say you want these six-pack. But you're not doing the cardio. You're not doing the dieting. Okay, so when you really say you want it as bad, how bad do you really want it? All right, let me explain it to you guys because you guys don't seem to understand. You guys seem to use examples like I'm in the worst position. What do you mean I don't want it as bad? I don't have a car to go to work. What do you mean I don't want it as bad? I'm not in the position that I want to be. So please stop telling me that I don't want it as bad. It doesn't matter. All right. Just because you're in the worst position, that doesn't mean that you want it. There's homeless people. Look at the homeless people. If they really want it as bad, they're grown men. They could apply for a job if they wanted to years ago before they went broke, years before they knew they were going to go in the homeless. But they didn't. They waited it around and they sat their ass in their couch and they wanted to be lazy. And now look at them. All right. So when you say you want it bad enough and the only thing you're using, the only testimony that you're using is that your position, your current circumstance as a, like a way to like give yourself validation or oh, any broke person wants as bad. That's not true. That is not true at all, because you might get the person who is not super broke, who has like a decent living. But he still wants more. Why? Because he doesn't settle for less. He doesn't just say, you know what? I'm satisfied where I want to be at. No. He wants to strive for more. He doesn't see it as a way of, okay, I mastered it in life. I think with this, I'm good in life. I want no more problems. No. He wants to see it as, I know there's stress that's going to come on the way. I know there's a bunch of anxiety. I'm going to lose a lot of sleep. All right? I might lose a lot of relationships. But if I don't want to be here and I want to be here, I know what it's going to take. And I'm willing to do that. Another thing, my brother brought up a good point. Is that when you talk about fitness, this is where you get to see who a person truly is, all right? Because they, everybody say they want a six-pack. Everybody says, oh, dude, that guy has a good physique. That guy has abs. That guy has the body of a boxer. They say that. But when you tell them that, all right, you know what? Let me, let me see you run a whole lap around the park. They struggle to do it. And I know that everybody starts somewhere. I know it's hard. And I know everybody has to take baby steps to where they want to go. It's not easy for a fat dude to just run two miles, all right? I know that. But the way you're going to know if the person wants it as bad is if that person was not the best in shape. If he shows up every single day consistently, regardless if he's not seeing any progress, regardless if he can't run consistently, as long as he shows up, it goes to show that he wanted it as bad, you know?
you might get the person who's not super out of shape, but he thinks that just because if he shows up here and then, if he shows up every two days, he thinks that's good enough. He thinks he's one that is bad enough. That's not true. Like I said, if you look at the person who's not super in shape, but they show up every single day, they want it more than the person who's a little bit more fit, but only shows up two days a week. So at the end of the day, although you might be in a better position or although you may be in a bad position, you're trying to use any of these things as a testimony to replace the, oh, I'm working hard part. By you making up an excuse, I'm in a worse position, so of course I want it as bad. By using that, that's going to replace your hard work, and you think that's going to get you where you want to be at? <laughs> well, I want to see where that gets you. I want to see you saying, oh, I'm broke, so I want to be rich as bad. I want to be richer than this dude because I'm broker than him. I really want to see where that's going to get you. Same with, oh, I'm so out of shape. I only show up to the gym every two days a week, but I'm fat. That means I want it more than the person who's fitter than me. I really want to see where that gets you. So at the end of the day, in order for you to get the things that you want, in order for you to get the physique, to reach the financial stability, to reach anything you want in life, you have to want it as bad. Never be satisfied. Never think that you did enough. Never think that, oh, you know, for today, I'm done. I'll put all the work. Now I can just chill and let everything just fall into place. I right, don't listen to that because it's not enough. Every single day of the hour, you should be striving for more because you're never enough and it's never going to be enough. You should always strive for more and never be satisfied.